Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's short video, I'm going to be going through some of the arithmetic SATs questions, but with a focus on the addition questions. These questions are taken from the 2022 paper, the most recent paper, and I'm going to talk through how to answer the addition questions from that paper. So the first question is actually the first question from the paper itself. 6,155 plus 501 plus 649. There's a few different ways to answer this question, but looking at the numbers, you might have noticed a relationship between this number and this number. So a quick way for the children to attempt this is to see that 501 and 649, if I compensate and use the one here, okay, to um, add to the 49, that's going to make 50. So I'm going to do 500 Add 650, okay, which makes 0 and 0 makes 0, 0 and 5 makes 5, and 5 and 6 makes 11. So we have 1,150, but then we have to add that to our remaining number, which is 6,155. So I'm going to take my 1,150. I'm going to add that to my 6,155. So once I do that and I add those bits together, I've got 0 and 5, which makes 5. 5 and 5, which makes 10. Put the 0 down and carry the 1. 1 and 1 makes 2. And, a hundred, and 1 is 3. And 1 and 6 makes 7 giving us a final answer of 7,305. So that's how you attempt the first question of the paper. There's always more than one way of attempting these questions, but that's just one way you might do it. The next edition question that was from the paper, um, I'm going to look at question three. Um, so we've got 10 plus something equals 302. Um, so what we want to look at here is the equal sign. Now, what I say to the children in my class is the equal sign is like a balance scale. Whatever is on this side must equal this side. So 302 on this side, this side must equal 302. So something add 10 equals 302. Now, what you can do here is do the inverse. So take 10 away from 302. So actually, this you might say this is a subtraction question also. So 302 take away 10, um, 2 take away 0 is 2, 0 take away 1 we can't do so we must borrow so that becomes 200, that becomes 10, 10 take away 1 is 9 and 2 take away 0 is 2, giving us a final answer of 292. Okay, next question. So question number five is the next addition question on the paper. And once again, we've got a missing number question here. Something add 70 equals 485. Once again, I tell the children in my class that this is a balancing scale. So whatever is on this side must equal this side. So 485 on this side, we need to add something to 70 to make 485. So what I would do here is I'd take my 485 and I would take away the 70. So again, doing the inverse. 5 take away 0 is 5. 8 take away 7 is 1 and 4. And just to check that, you can go back and do 415, add 70, and it should give you the answer of 485. So 415 is the answer. Just a quick reminder as well, if the children do not write their answers in the box, then there's a chance they may not get the answer correct. So make sure the children write answers in boxes. So let's look at the next addition question. Now, this time we've got question number six, which is addition, but with decimals. Things to remember here. So first of all, I'm going to write down my whole numbers first. So I've got six in the ones and eight in the ones. So what I say to the children is, Write your whole numbers down first. Don't worry about the decimals to begin with. Now, the one thing that children make a mistake with with this type of question is not lining the numbers up properly. 
having the tenths in the hundredths column or the ones in the tenths column. So it's all about lining the numbers up correctly. So start with your whole numbers. Next step, your decimal points. Line up your decimal points like buttons on a shirt, one underneath the other. Then add your tenths, four tenths here, and then six tenths here. But then you'll notice that with this number here, we've got eight in the hundredths column. However, we have nothing in the column here. Now, what I do say to the children is, second thing that's really important to remember when adding and subtracting decimals, put your placeholder in. So zero goes there as my placeholder. Now, I'm gonna add these together. Zero add eight is eight. Four and six make 10, so I'm gonna put zero down there. I'm gonna carry the ones. Six and eight make 14, plus one is 15. And don't remember at the end, if they forget to put their decimal point in, then they won't get a correct answer. So once again, writing the number, the answer, the final answer in the box provided to get that correct mark. So that's adding decimals. Let's have a look at the next question. The next question um, is actually a bid mass question. So this is going to be in another video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.